Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another installment of The Locker Room. I am your host, man. You already know who it is. It's your boy, Reggie. Now, listen, this is going to be a very, very good episode, so be sure to subscribe and stick around to the end. Now, ladies and gentlemen, man, the LeBron James-Michael Jordan debate is the longest-running debate on the internet, man. And today, we are going to take a quick look into both of these guys' careers. Now, I got Michael Jordan's debut pulled up, and we got to react to it, man. Okay, this is October 20th. 26, 1984. Okay. Jordan snagged the tip. Said, give me that. Okay. Nice little bank off the glass for Mike. It's young Mike, too. Ooh, that was nice. That was a nice little floating layup, man. Look, look, look how he floated in the air. Look at that. Yeah, that was cold. That was cold. I ain't gonna lie. Nice little fadeaway. Uh, give me that. Give me that. So, yeah, Michael Jordan, man, rookie debut, finished with 16 points, six rebounds, as you guys can see on the screen. Seven assists. That was a nice dime right there. And the Bulls got the win, man. Now, this is young LeBron, man. This dude, man, I'm telling you, man. Um, like I said, I, I love both these dudes. I ain't going to lie to you. But y'all know I'm a LeBron guy, man. I grew up on LeBron. Yeah, this this first game, man, this was this was This was impressive. This was impressive. 25 points, man, nine assists, and six rebounds in his rookie debut. So, listen, man, um, Jordan came into the league, um, top pick in the draft, and so did LeBron, man. They both were, you know, I believe, what, top five draft picks. LeBron was number one, and um, I believe Jordan went number three to the Chicago Bulls. So, yeah, man, as you guys can see, man, they both came in their first game and they were looking very, very impressive. Now, let's take a quick look at this flu game for Michael Jordan. This was the game where Mike was sick. He came in, and um, he still gave them boys hell in Utah. Look at this. Look at this right here. Okay. Yeah, that was a nice move behind the back. Nice dish to Scotty. Followed the miss. Ugh. Give me that. Mmm. Yeah, man, Jordan was, look, <laughs> Jordan about to pass out, man. Cooking his ass. Yeah, his mid-range is just, it's its incredible. His, his mid-range game was just beautiful. I ain't gonna lie to you. Took another three. Yeah, man. So that was that was the flu game for Michael Jordan, man. Like I said, this dude, this dude's crazy, man. Now listen, ladies and gentlemen, this was the last shot. This is probably one of the most iconic plays I think I've ever seen, man. I mean, <laughs> look at uh, look at Carl Malone and how he just fell over. Look, at, look, I gotta, I gotta bring that back. Look at this man, Carl Malone, bro. This man literally fell to the fucking ground, bro. <laughs> Get your ass up, man. Now I love this play right here, man. Look, oh my god. Okay, come back. Ooh, and he pulls. And he switched, like, bro, he swished it. He swished it. Like, it didn't hit the rim. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. That, that's one of the most iconic plays in NBA history. I'm sorry, bro. Listen, like I said, I grew up on LeBron, bro. I'm a LeBron guy. But I, I got to be objective, bro. Um, Jor Jordan is the GOAT, man. We just got to call it what it is, bro. Jordan is the GOAT. Um... I mean, he's the reason LeBron is wearing 23. I mean, that says it all right there. You're talking about two of the most iconic players to ever play the game of basketball, right? Now, if obviously, in my opinion, man, Michael Jordan is just, he's, he's the GOAT, right? I mean, from the sneakers to the look, the image, the legacy, just everything, bro. I mean, I don't think right now, you can make a case for LeBron James being the GOAT over Michael Jordan, bro. You're talking six championships, six finals MVPs. I mean, that's 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 all that needs to be said. But like I said, I love LeBron. I ain't going to lie to you. I, I really do. I love LeBron James, man. LeBron James is the GOAT of this generation, in my opinion. A lot of people have been saying, well, how can he be the GOAT if Steph Curry won four? Listen, Steph Curry won four championships, but we've got to keep this in mind, ladies and gentlemen. He called Kevin Durant to join the Golden State Warriors, okay? If it wasn't for Kevin Durant, Steph Curry probably has, like, two championships right now. Um, so, 
I, I, I don't feed into that narrative, man. LeBron is the GOAT of this generation, just like Jordan was the GOAT of his generation. And when we compare the two, like I said, I love the debate. I love to have it, right? You can make a you can make a case for uh for LeBron James. You can make a case for LeBron. But for me personally, man, I just when I watched that last dance, I just said, man, nah, I, I I'm sorry, bro. You you win three straight championships and then you retire and then you come back and you win three straight again. It's just it's it's unprecedented. We've never seen it and we probably never will see it again in our lifetime. So like I said, that's pretty much all I got, man, for this video. Comment to the comments down below, man. Who is your GOAT? All right. Mainstream media. This is the main debate that they typically come with, which is LeBron and Jordan. But I know a lot of people out there think, you know, Kobe is in the GOAT debate. Um, Kareem, Bill Russell. So like I said, man, comment to the comments down below. Let me know who is your GOAT. And yes, man, this was another installment of the locker room. I'm going to catch you guys on the next one. Peace. What would it take for LeBron to pass Jordan as the GOAT? Oh, get him, uh, man. All right, so if we're talking about accomplishments, he needs at least a couple more rings, probably one more MVP. But if we're talking about accomplishments, Jordan's not the GOAT. It's Kareem. And if it's not Kareem, it's probably Russell. So we're not really talking about accomplishments. We're talking about who's the best. Who's the best? One game to decide your life. Who do you want in all-time history? So for LeBron to pass Jordan, he needs a time machine to go back about 11 months when he passed him the first time. LeBron's mm. been the best player ever since about midway point of game six of last year's finals. And all he's done since then is continue that. He's on the greatest streak in postseason history since, Le since Dre called him a, the B word and Clay said his feelings were hurt. He's played 16 games, his team's 15 and one, giving you 34, nine, eight, and 55% shooting. And when we're just comparing the two players, LeBron averages more rebounds, assists, blocks, steals than Jordan, shoots a better percentage from two, shoots a better percentage from three, is the more versatile defender, can guard all five positions. Can He can do everything Jordan could do, but better. Legato guard one of the best assist men of the league. Throw it down! Go so the gym! To LeBron, LeBron goes to baseline, look at it, he just caught up a nice pass. That was a very nice pass by Anthony Davis, and LeBron obviously knows how to finish. I used to daydream about her back when I was in class, so you know that when I fucked, I came fast and laughed. I'm doing me now, bigger rings for the team now, trying to tie me down fast, tell her slow it down. Baby girl, want to sit and play house, so I said on.